why do you think it's important for people to have this uh, you know to have access to labor law protection because don't you think that the CCMA will be there to protect employees and all of those things? Why do you think that in today's age it's necessary for someone to consider having this insurance? Aslam, previously no, I was a I was a soap steward for Solidarity. Way back, that was in 2010 up to 2016, and I attended many CCMA cases where I actually saw saw what happened there and how and how employees was they didn't get what they what they deserved and even and even in 2016 when i resigned um my sub stewardship with solidarity and then um let me be honest um i see what is happening in the workplace and I also see that the soap stewards that are there, they do maybe one or two courses in a labor relation, something, but but they are not experts. They are not and 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 whenever an employee go to their offices, it's like nothing comes from it. So you complain, 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 but you don't see something good coming out of your complaint and and that's why i decided myself now whenever i'm in trouble let me rather get someone that is more an expert in labor relations issues that can assist me whenever whenever i face an issue at work tell me gregory a lot of common you know, I'm doing this now for 13 years. Another common issue I face from people is they say, well, Aslam, this is not going to happen to me. Unfair dismissal happens to everyone else. Unfair labor practice happens to other people. I'll never have to go to the CCMA. So I don't really need this insurance. I'll be fine. My boss likes me. I just got a bonus last year. In your experience as a shop steward, do you want to enlighten the viewers to say, listen, Anything can happen at any time. And you have seen cases where people's situations at work change. Now they have bills to pay. How? What's commentary on that? You see, the way you are saying it now, even me, myself, I never thought the way I thought now after I watching your videos. Remember, I was also one of those people that thought, no man, a thing like that will never happen to me. And a thing like that will never happen to me. But after I saw what happened to people I know, you see, they were my friends. Some of them I knew for a long time. One day they are at work and the next day they are not at work. Then not only we were, I'm being informed, no, but he's on special leave. Just a month, three months after that, we uh no, that person is suspended for one, two, or three reasons. You see, and this is, and and that make me thought before that happened to me. Let me get someone on my side that will assist me. If it happened to me, then I know there is someone I can reach out. Not a soap steward. Not 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 someone that is that is work with me like a, like a representative no 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 someone that specialized in labor relations issues someone that know how ccma operate someone that know about the labor code because like i have my life insurance i have my car insurance i don't have work insurance especially That's now an excellent that excellent point gregory what do you have to say about hr because a lot of people say no i'll just go and talk to human resources human resources are there to protect the employees having being a shop steward and being in the working world for a long time what's your commentary on that can you rely on hr to protect your rights no 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 i can't you see because uh, i saw what happened you see most people in HR is there to promote the company. 
the excellence is in the best interest of the company, not in the interest of employees. I can go and complain to HR. OK, yeah. You see, but but but. It's a very few people in HR that we go the extra mile to assist. You see, but but most of the cases. No, you just go there, complain. And nothing will come from it. And that is the reason, especially now where companies are making. Uh, in this um, section 189, I need protection. I need to I need to go and sleep at night with peace. Knowing that. Like God is with me, I also have someone. At the back. That if something happened to me tomorrow at work. I know exactly I can just call this number and that number, you know. Remember, rem remember I as an employee, I don't know all the labor relations matters and, and issues and even and even sometimes people that are appointed in HR. To do. Uh, employment engagement things or. You see, they don't know the law. Remember, remember, they only follow company procedures. They are following company policies. But sometimes that very same company procedure or company policies is not in line with legislation. So this is the reason why. I spoke to my wife and I decided. Let, let, let me let me join your Facebook page. I followed your videos after after. Five, six, seven videos, I decided. I'm going to join. I want a policy so that I know I'm covered. And I think that was a good decision because at the end of the day, you are getting specialist cover. What do you have to say about people who then say, but hold on, I can go to this company who's half your price, etc. And you know why you guys priced more. What commentary do you have about price at 199 and compared to what else is offered there? When I listen to your videos and what I read on your Facebook page, you see the price 199 is 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 worth it. Is is remember nowadays lawyers are asking a lot of money, and and it might be that I get to work tomorrow morning, and I've been served with a letter. Gregory, we don't need your service anymore. Now I have to run around. I have to run around and check where can I get the lawyer. And then also it might be that and that very specific moment I don't have the funds. But but remember I am 55 years of age and then I and and I even know that that just to get a lawyer is a lot of money, truly speaking. So 199 is it's a bargain. Mm -hmm. It's a bargain, truly speaking, it's a bargain, yeah. Okay, perfect. Any final tips and advice that you have for people who will be watching this later on to say anything doesn't have to be about insurance. It can be any advice that you have to employees out there because our whole channel is all about value and advice to an ordinary person. Even if they watch our videos, they will get lots of value just by watching our videos. So any advice you have as a shop steward and your experience? You see, Aslam, uh, truly speaking, from on my side, and I want to advise other employees who's going to watch this video, that I'm paying every month my shop steward fee, and my shop steward fee is four times more than your monthly premium. And and for 199, what I get from you is much, much more than is 99.9% .9 more than what is what what the union can give me. In terms of representation at CCMA level, if my case has to be referred to the Labor Court, I really don't think that the soap steward at, at my workplace is experienced enough to represent me there. So so I would recommend each and every employee 
that watch my video that they need to join your company for 199 you get all basket 